the Rage Bug. Uh, this is by far my favorite soft plastic of all time. And here's why. To me, it's still the most versatile bait out there. So we all know we, we can flip with it. We can cast it out there like a Texas rig. We can do all those things. But here's why I love it. First off, it, I always wanted a bait that I could sight fish with. This was a big deal. It's very compact. It's very small. It doesn't have a lot of big features that a, that a fish on a bed can bite and, and take off. It's, it's, it's thin too. To me, that's a big deal. I wanted a, a hook that would be able to penetrate through this thing. A lot of baits you see are real bulky. And to me, that's just one more chance for, for you not to get a great hookup. Second, so I throw this a lot on structure jigs. I throw them out there deep and I throw them, I swim a lot of structure jigs. Uh, I don't know why I've always been a guy that likes to use a structure jig just because of the way that it's built. And I always usually put this on it. Now, what I will say is a lot of times, you know, this is great like it is, but on a jig, sometimes I tear their arms off. I bite the head off. And now you have something that fits on a jig just like a trailer, just because I like the way these, these legs move. You can even sometimes take the pinchers off and get it really, really um, a smaller profile. This is good for like a smaller jig, like a, a Bitsy Flip or something like this. So once again, really versatile. Now, they make a bunch of different sizes. This is something else I like to do. When I go down to places like Florida or, or, and things, I like to just rig this up just all by itself. And, and I use the bigger one, the Magnum um, structure bug. And I like to throw it out there and almost use it as a top water. I can get it right underneath the surface and almost wake it. And what's great is since it's designed like this and it's really, really flat, but it's, it's wider, it runs flat. So I can get it right underneath the surface and it runs that far and it's just, it's flat, it's waking. The tails are going. It's something else I do. I don't really see a lot of people doing it, but I like that subtle top water. Um, it's almost not even a top water. It's it's right in that mid range, you know. Really good stuff down there in Florida. Uh, another trick I've found. Everyone's throwing different things on the Thunder Cricket. Once again, I like to take this and turn it vertical. So what I what I'll do is, and I'll take this one off. Instead of putting it on there like most trailers, where you go like this, turn it vertical. What that does now is now you have a Thunder Cricket like this, and these tails are actually going vertical style. So it actually looks like a perch or something with its tails going like this, because crawfish go like this, you know, perch and bait fish go like this. So now it looks really good in the water when you turn it vertical. There's all these things you can do with a structure bug. You just gotta have to be a little creative. These are the things I like to do with it. It's why I almost I don't keep anything other than this in my tackle box. And as you can see, I got a ton of them.